Hey y'all, coming to you from the uh, Moonshine Cruise Inn in Hiawassee, Georgia, and I got a special treat for you. The uh, Are You Faster Than Redneck guys are here. Um, ride over DT Motor Gear's buddies with Bill, and uh, they brought three cars, so I'm gonna run over and talk to them, see what they got for us. Fellas, how you doing? Oh, good, good, man. man. What's going on, Scott? Man, I'll tell you what, I love that show. Oh, y'all right. beat up on some imports, and I, you know, to me, cool is cool. You know what I'm saying? So I like it all, but I don't mind seeing a muscle car beat up on a Toyota every now and then. Ain't nothing wrong about that. That's hey, it. Tell hey. me, tell me what y'all brought to uh, the show here. Well, I've got a '72 Dodge Charger. It's got a Hemi in it. Yeah, it's got a Hemi, baby, <laughs> but it's a late model Hemi. It's no, that's the good stuff. thing, man. It's all the good stuff. It's yeah. Got late model suspension, a uh, three link in the back, a six speed. Of course, it's got all the creature comforts too: electric windows, electric seats, air condition. You know, we drive these cars. We pride ourselves in being the Rat Pack, so we not only race these cars, but we drive them to the race and drive them home. Right. Cool. Uh, Air condition. That explains why sometimes things are a little bit sluggish out there. Hey, fat boy sweat. I understand that. I understand that. No, that's cool. What else you got? We got a little Bowtie Express here, a little LS3 Magnuson Supercharger in the 67 Camaro. Uh, chassis work suspension. And uh, can't forget BF Goodrich uh, Rivals tires on this thing. And Y'all uh, sure put them through the test, don't you? They do. It's a beautiful tire, too. Beautiful tire. Right. Tell them if they need somebody else to burn them up, I can do that for them, too. It's uh, we, we welcome all tires, the tire burners, you know. So. I got you. Now, this one here, y'all have taken a little bit further. This is almost street riding. You got the flat firewall going in it. and. Just a, just a step up, you know. Yeah, this is it don't look a, like it's you. a classy ride, you know. So maybe a little classier redneck ride, you right? Know? Right. But, uh, you know, it's uh, high end, yeah, high end, yeah, yeah. Right. But you still drive it. Exactly. They're exactly. all made to drive. Exactly. And then uh, you can't, you can't. Uh, I mean, you can't deny this car over here. No, no, no. Brian, no. Brian Finch, why don't you tell us a little bit about this car? Well, this is the old, this is the old silver bullet from the show. Right. So this is my tried and true war car. Been with me since 1991. Used to be a drag car. Right. Now she goes around corners. That's so, cool. It's all aftermarket suspension. The chassis has all been reworked. And I'm running a 335 tire on all four corners on this thing. So Sweet. Maximum rubber. We got a Kurt Urban LS7 pushing out 680 horsepower. Still gets 18 miles the gallon on the way to California back every year. Wow, you drive it to California. So to California back every year. Now people year. say they drive them, but that's man, that's cross country. We yeah. drive them. My wife and I hop in this every year. We drive out to Vegas. We put it in SEMA. We race. Head out to California, do a little vacation, and drive her home. No kidding. Now, is that real carbon fiber, that nose? Yeah, this is all real carbon fiber, so, you know, try to take off as much weight as possible. I got gotcha. you. So this is a 16-pound hood. So. What did it weigh originally? Probably 40? Uh, the cowl induction hood is about 70 pounds. Holy so cow, that's a big weight savings. So, yeah, yeah, right where you want it, too, right? Front. All off the front. Yeah. Now, you ought to cross this at the good guy stuff? Yeah, that's Didn't that's I see you all there, too? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we ought to cross at all the good guy shows, and uh, that's actually where I got my start was the first time I ever turned a corner in anger it was the 2006 Nashville Good Guys, and that was the very first autocross good guys, or autocross good guys ever did. Dude, I rode in uh, Pete's truck, or uh, I rode in a truck this year, and I'm afraid that I got a scratch, and I might, you know, that's cool, man. That is cool to build a car like that and be able to take it out and really see what it can do, you know? Well, I've fallen in love, too, with going out to the American Street Car Series uh, events as well. So. Where do they do that at? Well, Brian actually is one of the owners of American Streetcar, and uh, you know, it's just tell me about that. What, what's going on with that? Well, we've got a American Streetcar series. It's it's mainly it's a it's a it's a, an effort to get people out of their lawn chairs. You know, right. use these these big investments that you got. Use these cars. Get out and have fun with it. Enjoy right. It. So we do events coast to coast. Uh, we try to do about six or seven events a year, and it's all about taking classic muscle cars, putting them on a the road course, putting them on the autocross. And we also do an event called the Speed Stop or Speed Stop Squared sometime, where it's basically an eighth mile drag race where you, you boogie down as fast as you can, and then you have to hit your brakes and stop into like a 20-foot wide, 40-foot long box from about 100 miles an hour down to zero. Cool. So, Tell me if people technical. want more information about this. How do they find it out? Uh, so you can go to AmericanStreetCarSeries.com. Check us out. We've got our schedule on there. Uh, actually, our final event of the year is coming up at Pigeon Forest, Tennessee, which is called Run Through the Hills. Cool. I think this is going to be uh, number eight or nine. Ninth year in a row. I'm going to be up there. I'll get with y'all and we'll do some more coverage on that, see what you got to show up, things like that. Cool. And what night's your show all is it on? 
It's normally 9 o'clock on Monday evenings on Speed Channel, but uh, it's uh, since uh, gone off the air right now. They're not running that show uh, any longer. Okay. Uh, but it will be going to uh, Fox uh, okay. Sports here. And, speed, uh, speed goes away August 17th. Man, I'm sad to hear that. You know, every cable time I got cable, I told them, I don't care what package I got to have, it's got to have speed in it. And for it to go to a stick and ball sport channel makes me... Well, hopefully it won't all be stick and ball. We understand there's still going to be some car stuff. Uh, and we're certainly hoping that they're going to keep the Are You Faster the Redneck on the, on the program schedule. I hope so. Uh, we're, looking for, we're looking for a second season, so watch for it. Good, good. Is there any way that people out there can help that happen? Bug people? You can go to Are You uh, Faster Than a Redneck on Facebook uh, and just put some comments out there and uh, say hello to us and we'll get back to you. Cool. Fellas, man, thanks so much for taking time to talk to me today. If you don't mind, I'm going to do some quick walk arounds around your cars and I'll be out of your way. Right. Again, Thank thanks you. so much. Good to see you, Scott. Yeah, you too. Like I said, we'll just do a quick walk around on these cars. How cool was that? Right? Get to hang out with the Are You Faster Than Redneck guys. Check out their cars. And we'll go check out their uh, their deal when they come to Pitch and Forge. I'll get up there. I'm, you know, I shoot that. So, hey, they're Tennessee boys. I didn't even notice that. There's the other one's Georgia. I love these Camaros, man, and that's cool. I hope they can get picked up for a second show. Like I said, I like that. I think that's that's cool when you compete the uh, American muscle versus the import. Sometimes it's really, oh, look at them gauges. Sometimes it's unfair, because it's late model imports, and let's face it, you know, you get a Subaru or that Nissan GTR or something like that. You can put all the horsepower behind these cars you want, but it's going to be hard to compete with that. I mean, these are good-looking cars, though, man. You know? And that's what I love. People talk about trailer queen, trailer queen. Just because the car's shiny and it's nice doesn't necessarily mean that it's a trailer queen. I like these old Charger. I like that new Hemi. I know the purists are going to, you know, hate me for saying that, but I like the horsepower they get out of them. I like the, uh, yeah, that's what they need. I like the reliability of them. I like all of that. So, anyways, there you go. Are you faster than a redneck from the uh, Moonshine Cruise? And there's three of their cars. Got an interview with three of the main guys. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See you.